Uh, Ryan, first of all, uh, if you could talk a little bit about IP Datatel and talk about the IP Datatel vision. Absolutely. So, um, you know, uh, over the past couple of years, you've really seen IP Datatel uh, evolve and, and build more and more products, uh, make strategic partnerships, uh, such as the uh, Secure Smart uh, Helix with resolution products. Um, you know, releasing LTE, those are all really wonderful things and, and kind of the next step in, in progression is going to be the um, ability to connect to cameras. Um, so not only do we provide the future-proofed alarm communications, uh, we'll remain internet-centric, uh, and that especially applies to IP cameras, uh, and providing universal solutions, flexible solutions for you to, to, uh, to provide to your customers. Awesome, awesome, great. All right, let's move on. Ryan, let's talk a little bit about why folks should consider cloud video. Well, it really reduces the upfront cost to the customer. Uh, you don't need an expensive DVR or NVR uh, to make all of this work. Um, so that alone gives you a reduced installation time. Um, the cameras being IP, uh, it's a very simple enrollment process on our end uh, through the app. Uh, so that provides for an easier camera installation. Uh, get in and get out as, as quickly as possible while providing um, a really great service. Uh, reducing service calls, uh, there's really no service or maintenance required. Um, you know, obviously never say never, uh, but it really reduces your chances for that with the camera manufacturers that we have, um, that we have partnered with. Uh, it's another way to increase your RMR, so it's a monthly charge versus a one-time one charge for maybe a DVR or NVR installation. Uh, so we're, we're, again, giving you opportunities to increase your RMR uh, with this Secure Smart Cloud video. Uh, as far as the secure video recordings go, uh, it is stored off-site, um, so the video cannot be removed or deleted by an intruder or a hacker. Okay, fantastic. Uh, Ryan, if you could... Let's run through some of the benefits that are associated with Secure Smart Cloud. Or cloud. So there's really four key benefits. Uh, one is open IP camera support. Uh, the cameras are easy to use. The whole system really is easy to use. Uh, it's cost effective, and our pricing model is extremely simple. So in regards to uh, open IP camera support, uh, the video solution works with the largest number of the leading IP cameras in the industry. Um, so you can select the right camera for each customer. You can go with a, a very simple install all the way up to a more robust camera uh, with several different features. Uh, they're easy to use, so it's built for the users who don't want to bother with a complicated, expensive system. And the other benefit is that it's extremely simple for you, the dealer, to install. It's cost effective, so there's no need to purchase expensive hardware, uh, especially if you have multiple sites that need surveillance. For example, you can connect all the cameras to one platform. Uh, it's a simple pricing model. Uh, we really want to keep the plans designed to fit many user profiles, including both consumer and business customers. Uh, obviously, in some places, you're going to have more traffic uh, than you would in, in maybe a, a home uh, as opposed to a business. So stay tuned for more on that. Awesome. Terrific benefits to consider. Uh, Ryan, now let's talk about features. Can you walk us through those? Absolutely, Vince. So uh, it's an easy setup. You can easily add and remove users. Uh, you can quickly and easily install the IP cameras uh, from the mobile app or the portal. Um, the apps and portal uh, are being uh, completely revamped as we speak, um, and that's going to allow you uh, to provide uh, more admin duties within your uh, organization. Uh, there's free dealer branding, of course, uh, for the customer app on uh, iOS and Android devices. Uh, and then there's also the branded web-based portal for your, uh, for your customers to use. Uh, the, an additional feature would be live video. Um, so you can watch that live from anywhere uh, and uh, stream multiple cameras simultaneously. Uh, recorded video, you can view and manage recorded media via a timeline uh, viewer on the, on the portal and on the uh, app. Uh, alerts, you can receive alerts when motion is detected. Um, you can easily change those motion detection and camera settings. Sometimes that's a science to get those um, exactly where you want them, depending on the camera manufacturer. Um, and you can also create a schedule as to when to uh, turn on and off your motion detection.
Uh, for camera control, uh, for, for integrated cameras that support uh, the functionality, control, pan, tilt, zoom, and motion zones, that as well is available for your use. Fantastic. A lot of great features. Now for this slide, supported cameras, I would like to bring on Scott. Scott, can you talk to our listeners today about uh, all of the supported cameras? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, one of the things that we, when we decided to make this solution, one of the things that we, we wanted to do from the very beginning was uh, make sure that our dealers weren't locked into just one specific camera or one specific camera vendor that uh, they could essentially pick the right camera or the right solution for the, for the customer, both in terms of, of camera capabilities and in terms of the price point. Uh, so um, the, the breakout that you see here between basic and premium and plug and play is really us wanting to make sure that uh, we make it excruciatingly clear that um, for different manufacturers, we've been able to do different levels of integration with the cameras. Um, the further we've been able to take those integrations, the easier it is to set them up. So um, in the, if they fall into the kind of the basic configuration um, column, you can still set them up. You can uh, get that camera up and running and, and um, saving data to our cloud, but it's a little bit more difficult. It takes you a little bit more time. It's more um, tedious user configuration. Um, for what we call the premium ones, um, that we've, we've done more integration with the camera vendors um, and we're able to kind of streamline that process. It's a, it's a little quicker. Uh, some of the fields are, are kind of pre-filled out for you when you go into the app to do the installation. And then we have a few select vendors that we've been able to do really, really tight integration with. Those are the ones in, in that kind of that yellow plug and play column. Um, for, with those guys, it's as simple as um, scan a barcode, um, give, give the things a name, and, and you're in. It's, it's essentially done, um, and we're really proud of that integration. Okay, and folks can refer to the Secure Smart Manual for more details on those cameras. Absolutely. Okay, uh, Scott, if you could talk a little bit about the mobile app. Uh, I know that you've been heavily involved with that. Sure. So the, uh, the, the nice things about the app are th these are fully functioning, fully featured apps. They're, they're as good as just about any web portal you've ever seen with, with, with video. Um, you know, as with most of them, you can jump right into the live video, but you can also scroll back through um, uh, you know, hours and hours of video very, very quickly. Um, we, we create uh, timeline markers for every motion event, so um, you can uh, look on the, the timeline find a marker for an event, say this thing happened first thing in the morning, scroll back to that, click on the marker, and immediately be looking at the video. So it's incredibly intuitive and, and very straightforward. Obviously also we've got, we've got notifications for, for motion events. We also have notifications for camera events. If that camera goes down and it can't talk to the internet for some reason, we've got some notifications for that type of thing. And you can modify all the settings for the camera um, right there in the app. So if you're looking at something and you realize, hey, you know what, I, I, didn't, um, I didn't have motion events turned on, you don't have to get out of that app, go back to some other app for camera, for camera settings, and then come back in. You can just do it right from the app, and, and that's, a, that's a huge win for um, the vast, vast majority of cameras that are compatible. Fantastic, and all from the palm of your hand. Exactly. All right. Uh, Scott, if you could talk about the portals, both the dealer admin side and the customer viewing side. Let's talk about those. Yeah, I'll start with the customer viewing side first, just because we were just talking about the, the, uh, the mobile applications, and they're kind of very similar, right? Um, some things you can do, um, you, can, you can listen to the, to the audio live. Um, that's something that, that's been a request. Um, you can, as I said before, just with the, as with the, the mobile app, you can control the camera. So um, as uh, Ryan mentioned earlier, if you've got a camera that supports uh, pan, tilt, zoom uh, capabilities, and we've been able to uh, do, it, do that integration with that vendor, then you're going to have those capabilities right both in the portal and in the app. Um, and you can change um, all, of, all of the uh, camera settings as well. So um, that's for the customer portal, and keep in mind that's branded just like everything else that we we do at, at IP Data Tell. Right. Um, you can uh, uh, it'll be your logo with your with the, the dealer's uh, colors. Absolutely. So um, now that also brings us kind of full circle to the dealer admin portal. So the, the, the idea here is to give you a really really straightforward and, and fast workflow to onboard a customer. Um, you can you click on essentially one button, add a customer. You very quickly can go through and add those customer details, and um, then with a, just a few more clicks, you can you can have even in the portal have added a camera to to the account and be up and running. 
So obviously it's important to be able to get up and running fast, but it's also important to be able to um, kind of be able to test and monitor those those cameras. It's always nice if I know ahead of time, if I know before the customer does that they're having a camera problem, and I can call them rather than the other way around. Uh, being being proactive creates a, a huge amount of value in the customer's mind, and and that's what we want it to enable for our, for our dealers to do. And just like everything else, the dealer portal's uh, uh, branded so that. Um, you create this uh, cohesive experience for the for the end user. That's right. Okay. Let's move on. Now, in this slide, this shows you some of the customer portal features. Can you walk us through what we're looking at here? Sure. So uh, first thing is, you see, there's there's two camera uh, views here. Right? So I've got two different ones. Um, this can be as many as you want. So you could have 20 cameras here. The incredible thing about um, the web experience here in this portal is that um, that's that's dynamic and live. So if you, if so I've only got two views here, but say I had four or five, I could drag those around, I could resize them dynamically, and I'm, and I'm getting live updates of those, of those live views all the time. Um, so that's something we spent a lot of time on. We're pretty proud of it, and uh, it works in, it, incredibly well. You can save that view. So if I had uh, multiple cameras and I always wanted to see one of them larger and, and, and you know, kind of smaller views of, of several of them, I can save that every time I come back to that view. That's how I'm going to see it. That's always nice. Um, I can filter uh, by hours or date range. So I can say, um, I could literally click on a button that says I want to see the last seven days and see all of that kind of expanded out. Or I can filter down to just see the stuff from, from the last hour. Um, we, we make really effective use of labels. Um, in, in this product, um, you can set up labels that are specific to locations. Say I have four or five uh, cameras in a, in, a, in a location, and I just want to give a, a particular manager access to, that, to those cameras, I can use the labels for that. Or I can use them um, to say, um, look at all exterior views or all interior views. So um, it's incredibly powerful tagging and labels, and, and we uh, make that uh, available to the, to the end user. Um, on the bottom, you see that, that everything's kind of timeline oriented. So you can you can slide around in that timeline to, to pick on those the events. The little vertical line, dashes that you see there, those are all um, events on those timelines. So, so that's motion. Exactly, that's motion. So, so even though you may be recording the entire time, those motion events are letting you know, hey, this is where something actually happened in the frame, and you can very quickly slide at that point. Okay. Um, we've got a, obviously a live view button, so I can just tap that and and be looking at all the cameras live. And I can uh, keep in mind, I can for each of the different cameras, I can go in and change, modify their settings through the portal. So um, incredibly powerful. Um, I can test all those things and uh, live while they're while they're running. Um, and we we also have a little a little feature so that um, if you want to, you can with one click turn all your cameras off. Just essentially stop recording from them. Okay. All right. A lot of great features in the customer portal. Ryan, I'd like to bring you back into the conversation now. Can you talk about the different plans? I know we have a business plan and personal plans. Let's talk about uh, those two. Yeah, so uh, these are just two really um, easy options to understand as far as what features you're going to get uh, with each uh, with each plan. Um, of course, you know, in the business plans, you get a little bit more um, you get a little bit more of a, a f feature set. Uh, that you would probably need in a business and may not need um, for a personal home. Uh, so you can kind of pick and choose there. Uh, to go over kind of some key differences between those uh, two plans, um, continuous recording, for instance, uh, to set up continuous recording to the cloud video servers so that uh, the cameras are recorded 24-7 uh, ensures that the footage is never missed. Uh, Multi-user accounts, uh, those are going to set up uh, unlimited users so that members of, of that that business uh, can share uh, the service while restricting um, access to, to maybe others, uh, other cameras or other features. Uh, camera labels uh, in the environments uh, with several cameras use uh, labels to filter, so that creates uh, a much easier view uh, and will also limit user access. Uh, dealer notification monitoring. Uh, dealers can monitor the health of the cameras uh, and proactively alert customers when issues arise. Um, and then for the setup and configuration, uh, dealers slash trusted uh, camera installers can configure uh, cameras and the account uh, remotely. So a few more features on the, uh, on the business plan, uh, but personal should definitely, uh, definitely get you on your way. 
Uh, one quick question for you, Ryan. Now, even though it's labeled the business plan, if I, the consumer, just for my personal home, I could choose to have a business plan. Absolutely, yeah. There's no, there's no limit. We're, we're just, uh, we're just kind of calling them those two different, uh, two different things there. Okay, fantastic. Uh, Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.